Hello guys, it's been two months since Laravel 12 release and that release was pretty boring so to speak with no new features, but in this video I will show you 10 new features that were released since then in those two months. Five of them will be from minor Laravel versions 12.x and five from related things from ecosystem. So this will be kind of a rapid fire list with links to tweets and videos related to new features. Let's begin. Feature number one probably the most impressive or most impactful in my opinion was released in 12.8 automatically eager loading the relationships so this is a tweet by taylor with example and this change potentially may take away all n plus one query issues or most of them for most cases and i have a separate video about it and i will link that in the description below so you may take a look deeper the second interesting feature is URI Helper, released in April. This is an example from Taylor Otwell's tweet. And if we take a look at the docs, it has a bit more detail. So you have URI, create the URI object. You may assign these parameters and also you can do with this, with that, and then inspect different parts. Again, I will link all the pages that I'm showing on the screen in the description below. Feature number three is API resources auto discovery. So here's a tweet by Newton from Laracan. So instead of adding flight resource collection in the use section and doing make, we can just do to resource collection. And here's another example from my own tweet. So for example, instead of doing that user resource collection and user resource, you can do just this. Chain the eloquent query and end it with to resource collection or to resource. Another new feature is related to eloquent scopes which Taylor was disgusted by as he tweeted about it. The older syntax of prefix scope for the function name now can be no longer used. It's still working. There is no breaking change, but instead you may add PHP attributes on top of functions. So here's the zoomed in version. Here you add scope adding that scope attribute on top in the use section. And this is another example how PHP attributes are used more and more in Laravel, in Filament and other frameworks. And final Laravel core feature that I wanted to show before we dive into ecosystem new functions. This is a tweet by Anacat. There's a new function called where attached to that replaces a few lines of writing where has with a condition. This is perhaps a better example from the original pull request with before and after. So before we have where has, after we have where attached to. Just a shorter kind of a syntax sugar, you would say. Now let's get to five features outside of core Laravel framework, which are really significant as well. So first was with starter kits. And after releasing the official starter kits for React View and Livewire, later they allowed to add any starter kit. Here's the syntax example, and also I have a separate video about it. This is the video you can see on the screen, 10 minute demonstration with a few community starter kits at the time. And again, I will link that video in the description below. The next new feature was update to one of the starter kits. So one of the three starter kits, Vue.js, was using Tailwind 3 instead of latest Tailwind 4. This was because the underlying chat CN view was with Tailwind 3. So this is the tweet by Taylor on April 9th. And also we were pretty quick to update our own course on Laravel Daily. So here's my tweet five days later. And here's the chain reaction, the screenshot from chat CN view to update to Tailwind 4. Then view starter kit with v4 upgrade. And then our course upgraded or partially recreated with repository with a new updated starter kit. This is one of the benefits to have text based courses so we can update them pretty quickly. The next new thing in Laravel ecosystem is a whole new package called Wayfinder, which potentially is a replacement for Ziggy for inertia in a bit different way. So here's a tweet by Taylor and also I have a separate video on my channel about Wayfinder and comparing that to Ziggy and showing that in action and I will link that in the description below. Another new feature or change was related to Laravel Skeleton where first Taylor asked the audience whether those two lines in the PHP unit XML should be uncommented. Here's the zoomed in version of that image and so many times, especially during my junior years, I had executed PHP Artisan test just to test if the tests work. And if that test suite contained refresh database, then my main database would be wiped out. I know, silly, but then it became a tradition to uncomment manually those two lines in PHP unit XML, which now is in the default Laravel. Taylor was quick after receiving positive reaction from Twitter community, done in a day. 
And the final Laravel feature in air quotes that I want to mention in this video, so many people were requesting this change in the documentation. So now if you browse the docs and scroll down, there's a side menu that you can click and navigate easily between the subsections of the same documentation page. Such a game changer when reading the docs. You will probably agree. So yeah, these are 10 new things in 12 point something in Laravel and also around ecosystem. Which one is the most impressive to you or maybe I've missed something important? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.